Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Fickers. This is the new episode of the Giant Tree House project in a dense and wild forest where people rarely walk, where hundreds of kilometers around there are only trees and wildlife, we are building a giant tree house. It won't be just a tree house but a whole complex of tree houses. Especially for this, we bought a piece of land in this forest. Still dark in our house, we were afraid to make a lot of windows so that there would be no highlights. But due to the fact that this is a forest, such a decision was a mistake. This week we'll do the layout and make two more windows. We have a lot of work to do in this video because we are finally getting series about our balcony that will go around the house. We'll try to make at least a facade as much as we can. We'll also insulate our house because it's very cold outside. It's frosty this week. To do this we bought a lot of styrofoam. Although this may not be enough, so we'll buy some more. The main thing is to start doing it. Many of you wrote in the comments that our house has very weak supports and it can fall down. Therefore, this week we decided to carry carefully work on the supports of our house. In addition to the fact that we'll put wooden supports along the perimeter under the walls, which will create a solid wall, we'll also make concrete or brick supports that will stand in the center and in the future our furnace will stand on them. Guys, we came up with something new. In general, according to our plan, we had to make the balcony equally thin around the entire perimeter. But since we need to bypass the trees on each side, we decided to make a giant platform here. Look, here it is. On this balcony, it will be possible to make some kind of lounge area where you can sit, relax and drink coffee, for example. Maybe even make a rocking chair and it will be great. Last week I was completely immersed in the construction of my kitchen that I hardly took part in the construction of this house. But this week it's absolutely the opposite because I am now directly involved in the construction of our balcony. You know, I thought that this balcony would be a little bit bigger than we planned, but it turns out it's huge. It's just a separate whole platform, not part of the balcony. By the way, the steps are ready, but the question is how to sheet that up under the steps. You can, of course, as everyone else does, sheet it up with a port, but we got an idea to sheet it up with a transparent grey polycarbonate, then it will be possible to paint it in different colors and then make a backlight under each step. It will be very cool, especially if you make the light blink. Of course, for a treehouse, it will be a little pompous and funky, so write your opinion in the comments, we will wait for your opinion and then we will sheet it up. Guys, you know fence that encloses our side, there is a place where we stop off. Here in the future we'll have a gate and above them we want to make a large sign and write Ficus Land. We used to do this at the house, but now we'll have a lot of houses, so we'll make a sign at the entrance right here. Now we'll go to the forest for some birch branches because Sergei suggested making an inscription out of them. Look at this person. Why are you sleeping? I finished everything, there are no more boats. Sergei cleaned up on the first floor in our house and in the attic. Now we can put linoleum here. Of course, we don't have much of it. It's left from our previous constructions. But we'll put a part of it and when we make the rooms, we'll put more. Yes, there is very little linoleum, but perhaps this can be a step in order to understand where which room will be. Look, here we can make a room, put up wall here and put up a door there. In general, guys, as we see, now we'll fill the site with cement here. Finally, we can do it on our side. This place will be like a foundation, so that tomorrow we'll start making a column of bricks. Firstly, it will be the first reliable support, and secondly, it will be a platform for our boiler. We decided that we'll install the boiler. We'll do it on our own, somehow we'll try to install radiators in our house and connect the boiler. Here it's be our platform, and it will reach the level of our house, so that we don't have to connect a pump to our boiler that will serve Circulate. If the boiler is at the bottom, then we'll have to raise the water high and we'll need to install a pump. Therefore, we'll simply make the platform high for the boiler. This is what our platform will be like, a stable base for continuing work. We'll make a column out of bricks and inside the column most likely we'll make a reinforced structure into which then we'll pour cement. This way this column will be very strong and will have one very good support for the house. I hope then you won't say that we don't have a reliable house. What is our chef doing there? I'm boiling dumplings. I love dumplings very much. Did you do it yourself? Certainly. My grandma made dumplings, so did my mom. Well, it's like an inborn talent in our family. 
Guys, we can buy a lot of timber boards, spend a lot of money again because today we're doing the second part of the balcony. I also bought balusters because we want to make a lounge area. Today we'll put a chair there and install a lantern there. By the way, today I will install flashlights on our stairs, or rather on the railing. This will be such round balls that I will install there. I think it will look cool in the evening. And I have plans to extend my kitchen because I don't have a lot of space here anyway. And when Sergei comes here to work with his light bulbs, he occupies his entire area. Therefore, I want to extend the kitchen all the way here so that it's two times larger. Then I'll have a cooking area here and here I'll make the same table but around the entire perimeter for eating. Basically, there will be a dining room. Do you think that some skills, abilities or talents can be genetically transmitted? By the way, my godson's father is a basket maker. His name is also Sergei. So many Sergeis around. So how do you like it, guys? We're lacking two more lanterns, so we decided not to install them here. Just for now. Yes, for now, but I think it looks great. It will be even cooler than the light up. We'll install two more here. Looks fine. Cool. One here and one there. Thanks. Guys, look what kind of platform is already here. Now we'll install balusters and we'll make railings. I think it will look cool. I bought cool new balusters, as you can see. Here we'll install it on the corner. Then we'll install the light here. Fikas is making a platform from the vine. He's basking near the forest. Such a lazy guy. Look what a cool thing it turned out. Sege and I have already checked it how it shines and it turned out very aesthetically pleasing. At least that's how it seems to me. While I dealt with electrics, Andrew is already finishing making the second such lamp. We're going to have two of these and we want to hang them over there on this porch. So, Fikas, let's turn on the light. Look, now there will be beauty. There you go. Ba -ba! Yeah, it looks cool. Wow. Look how cool it is. I love the patterns. It looks so nice. By the way, it won't be the way I wanted. I thought two would hang here, but Sege says that we'll hang one here and we'll hang the second there. So later I'll make some more crafts, but the lights are beautiful. Sergei says that these branches need to be cut, but it seems to me that they add some kind of ambience. Write in the comments your opinion, should we cut off these branches or leave it as it is now? By the way, we have already put a chair here. We haven't swept around yet, but there is already a chair so that we can relax like this. When we put the bed in the house, I'll go out like this to drink coffee, stroke my owl and dream. Look, Andrew is cooking dinner today. It's almost ready. In general, guys, it's time to check the backlights. I was a little offended by these flashlights because only three pieces work. The rest apparently haven't yet had time to charge, but it's okay. Now I want to check the rest of the color backlight because I worked with it for a long time. I didn't know how to do it better. I tried it in different ways. Now let's check it out. Ready? Go for it! <laughs> wow! Are they working? Yes, it looks cool. I want to see too. Wow, great, but something is off here. There are just four or five lights, but there is a lot of light already. Yes, they are multicolored. Well, I'm interested to see this one. It's a directional one. Well, it looks so cool. Really amazing. Yes. My mind occupied so that I can focus on anything but you. Cause all I want is to get some. Blah, blah.